and welcome to this episode of TEDx Tortola. This is your host, Dalen Vanderpool, broadcasting from the beautiful British Virgin Islands. We have an amazing show lined up for you today, but it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of recording in our usual bedroom closet studio, we are on stage in a large auditorium with a live audience. We have several intriguing guests lined up for today, including David Foote, Richard Georges, Sharice Bowden, and several others who we'll introduce in just a bit. We're always excited when intelligent people stop by to share their genius, so get ready to catch these knowledge bombs. But before we jump in, I'd like to share a brief story about how this show got started. When I moved home to the BVI about five years ago, after living in large countries such as South Africa, Turkey, and the United States, readjusting to island life was challenging, to say the least. I felt like I felt like the wheels of my life were grinding to a slow halt while the rest of the world was racing forward. Have you ever been at home but still felt a little out of place? Well, I, I found comfort in, in meeting uh, a few other local expats. We shared the same questions. We talked about our travel experiences and the fact that once you travel, you begin to see things differently. And once you see, it's very difficult to unsee. This new knowledge, if it's done correctly, it doesn't make you arrogant. Instead, it makes you humble. Humble because in the midst of all that you know, you become even more aware of how much more there is to know. And so, myself and these local expats, we shared the same questions. How would we remain connected to the rest of the world? We had something valuable to give to humanity, but how could we share it from such a secluded location? We asked the same questions. We wanted to give humanity something. We tried to figure it out, and we asked the question, how could one person share their ideas and exchange thoughts with the entire world? With that question in mind, I began searching for a way to connect with and possibly influence the world. And over the next few minutes, I'd like to share with you one way I believe we can make this happen. The most precious things in life are often found in the most unexpected places. Far from the common path and the unusual suspects, we find brilliant ideas hiding that can change the way we act and think. Well, what if what if you are in that unusual place? What if you are that unusual suspect hiding in the corner discussing a brilliant idea? What if I could give you a way, one piece of equipment that would turn the volume up on your brain so loud that the entire world could hear? Would you be interested? If I could give you a way to share your product, your idea, or your business with the world, would you want to hear about it? Until recently, getting this level of exposure without spending millions was virtually impossible. And I can see by some of the facial expressions that some of you are guessing what this new technology is. Is it the newspaper? The radio? The internet? Email? A website? Actually, it's something that's been around much longer than the internet. It's a specific type of radio broadcast on the internet called podcasting. Podcasting immediately gives you a platform where you can share your ideas with millions of people all over the world. Using a microphone, a computer, and some very basic recording software, you can record yourself or other guests discussing any topic. You take the microphone or the computer, you save that audio file, upload it to the internet, and immediately, Millions of people all over the world are able to hear the content that you shared. They can access its information anywhere, anytime they want. Now, some podcast episodes are as short as five minutes. Others are 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. The choice is yours, really. But it's important that you do start podcasting. Podcasts give people the ability not just to share information, but now the listeners have control. They control how, when, 
and where they listen. A podcast is radio on demand. It's time-shifted radio. It's like Netflix, but for your ears. Now, to give us a better appreciation of how a podcast got started, let's take a quick look at their evolution. In the 1980s, we had the rise of the internet. By the 1990s, people are already experimenting with how to share audio files across the internet. You might remember services like Napster. No need to confess if you used it. Services like Napster and other tools are developing for ways to share audio across the internet. By the 1990s, you see all these people popping up and they're trying to figure out how to make it happen, but we had one problem. How can we store, automatically download, and share this information on the internet? Well, fortunately, Dave Porter and Adam Curry in the year 2000 created a way to do this called the RSS feed. Podcasting is now becoming more popular. Between the year 2000 and 2004 and 2005, the number of hits, if you search for the word podcast, jumped from a mere 500 approximately to over 100 million. In 2001, Apple changes the game. They introduced the iPod. Now we can store hundreds of audio files on one small device. The momentum is going. Other services join the movement. Google Play, Stitcher Radio, iHeartRadio, Android. All these services creating ways to access podcasts. Eventually, iTunes starts cataloging these podcasts into a directory in iTunes. Before long, podcasts are so popular that Apple decides to put a native, undeletable podcast app on your iPhone. Whether you believe it or not, it's there. Even President George Bush is noted to have delivered his weekly address via a podcast of sorts. President Barack Obama even left the White House to go to a podcaster's garage and be interviewed on the WTF show with Mark Maron. Podcasts, my friends, are the way of the future. A low-cost, deep-reaching way to connect with a niche audience. People want information on demand. They want it where, when, and how they choose. Now, just in case sharing your message with humanity isn't enough to get you excited, let's talk about how it could excite your bank account or even the country's economy. What we have here is an actual example, the most recent income report from the popular podcast Entrepreneur on Fire, which is hosted by John Lee Dumas. Using his podcast, the Entrepreneur on Fire team is able to consistently generate over $100,000 in net profit on a monthly basis. Does that get you excited? How do they do it? While the podcast itself might be free, podcasting immediately opens up a number of alternate revenue streams that you can access. It might be a paid membership site. It might be as simple as a Facebook group that's private where people pay to be part of that learning community. It could be books. It could be the exposure that you get and people invite you to be a guest speaker at TEDx. It could be conferences. Every movement has a gathering. Movements such as podcast movement that already happened. This conference happens during the year. Imagine if we had thousands of podcasters enthusiasts, and other persons related to the industry descending right here in the BVI during the year for a conference, spreading across every hotel room, every yacht, every restaurant, every conference facility, bringing that money into the BVI as revenue. Even more, podcasters have a deep connection with their audience. Imagine the knock-on effect when these podcasters begin to talk about the awesome experience they had in the BVI. That's free advertising. But not the advertising where you put a 30-second ad on CNN at 4.30 in the morning when no one's paying attention. I'm talking about permanent, on-demand, direct advertising that can boost the economy. Friends, I grew up in the British Virgin Islands where the constant story is that we don't produce or export anything. Much of our labor, or goods and other resources are imported. Well, I believe that it's time we shift the balance of trade. 
Instead of turning these islands into large factories to produce products, let's turn these territories into idea factories. I see a future where entrepreneurs and business people and artists and scientists and lawyers, they all gather here to hatch and nurture their ideas. It's time that we give the world more than just vacations and company formations. Instead of us turning to the world for guidance, let them turn to us. I see trust companies and law firms holding podcasts and intellectual and, and, uh, and round tables of podcasts where they're sharing the brilliance that lies in the shade of our coconut trees. Let, let our whispers turn to thunder. Intellectual capital is our product, and podcasting is the good marketplace that we'll use to deliver our goods to the world. That's all for this episode of TEDx Tortola. This is your host, Dalen Vanderpool, encouraging you to keep on loving and keep on listening. <laughs>